Hello everyone, Tutu here. Uh, today I'm going to just talk a little bit about my background uh, in StarCraft and how I got involved and how I got started with the Mutation Solos. I started playing StarCraft 1 way back then and uh, pretty much when it was first released and I really loved the game so much that when StarCraft 2 came out I got it on the very first day and I've been playing it pretty often ever since. Uh, of course, there were periods uh, where I stopped playing and I would focus on other games, but for the most part, I've been playing the game a lot ever since the first day. And um, in the past, I used to play a lot of 3v3 and 4v4 with my friends, but uh, eventually I didn't really like the PvP aspect of the game. So when co-op came out, I was really ecstatic, ecstatic because... Uh, I could finally play some PvE missions. I really loved the, the campaigns. I beat all of them on Bruto, and uh, I enjoyed them a lot. So PvE missions were really fun for me, and there were a lot of commanders at the time. Um, then later on, Mutations came out, and I thought, wow, a new twist. That was pretty cool as well. Um, but after a while, uh, I would just beat the Mutations for the week, and I would just stop playing because uh, I was already at, like, way beyond 90 mastery and i already had all like all the mastery points so i didn't need to continue and i didn't need the experience anymore and then at some point i thought i should try some solos of the missions i want to try to beat regular brutal missions on my own yeah so this uh this is my chart you can see here I have all the, the missions here, and I have all the commanders, each with their own color for uh, easy like recognition. And um, I tried, I just started crossing off the ones that I could beat uh, regular Bruto with all the bonuses. And even now, some of them are blank, just because um, I, uh, when, ever since I started the Mutation Solos, I pretty much stopped playing regular Bruto. But anyways, um, I, I tried to clear as many as I could with um, just myself. Uh, and at that time, I didn't know about the MM maps in the arcade. So I had two computers uh, and I would just use uh, two accounts. The other account would be a Phoenix or a Rainer and then uh, uh, and I would just try to finish the map on my own. And um, then later on, as I, as I started to complete this chart, I thought, wow, I'm almost done with these two. What could I do next? How about mutations? So I looked at the mutations, and then um, I, I thought, hmm, let's try Train of the Dead. And uh, I had a lot of trouble with Train of the Dead. I couldn't beat it. So I thought, OK, I'm, I'm too weak. I can't beat this. So uh, let's forget it. I can't do this. And uh, I almost gave up, but then I tried uh, Time Lock, and then that's when I started to uh, I start I realized like hmm, some of these mutations are not as hard as I thought. And Time Lock was the first mutation that I all cleared. And uh, after doing this, I realized okay, I'm not so good, but I think that I can show people that even though I'm not that good it's still possible to solo a mutation. And uh, I also want to show other people that you don't need to rely on your ally so much. If you, can do a lot, if you can do a lot of the work yourself, that's part of it. So now I kind of have a few personal goals. Um, one of them is I want to so be able to solo each mutation um, uh, that has ever existed, except the polarity ones, of course, and boom bots, but yeah. And then, uh, if possible, I want to all clear particular mutations. And um, those were my two goals initially. And then later on, I learned about the uh, solo community. There's a community in out there that uh, solos these missions as well. And I wanted to contribute to the table. So... What is this table where, uh, well, there's a public Google Docs where um, there's a list of all the mutations ever and who has completed them and who hasn't. So here uh, you see the ones with zero currently have uh, no commanders. No one 
at least no record there has there's no record of anyone completing these the ones in the beginning are easier so most of them have been cleared but as you go like further down the list there are more and more holes so i decided okay i can uh if possible i want to also try to contribute as much as i can to these uh to this table and uh i uh this table is pretty cool so you can see like which uh you can also like since it's a public document you can just refer to it and you can see there are lists of solos by all kinds of members of the community and uh a lot of these are mine because I've done a lot. But also, like even in the Chinese community, there are a lot of uh, people whose videos are recorded here. Uh, as a side note, I don't know if they know that their their videos are up here, but um, they if they have it uploaded and someone uh, has has uh, subscribed to them, then they would know and they would see. So some of the like popular Chinese, uh, Chinese uh, solo mutation soloers are also here. So you can see, like this guy, I see him a lot. This guy, I see a lot. This guy, I see a lot. Uh, then, so yeah, you can see there are all uh, kinds of uh, references for people to look at if if they're interested. And um, in addition to these, I also use. Uh, diff I always have these sites in the back. So I use uh, SC2 Co-op. So here, this is a uh, um, a a guide, I guess, quick for for people to get information. This is sometimes uh, I use this sometimes because I don't remember the uh, like detailed information about certain maps or commanders. So I just quickly look them up here, and um, I, I I strongly believe that knowledge is power. So yeah, if you have no a lot of knowledge, you will be able to. Uh, beat these missions. Just knowing the map is a big part of it. This uh, Maguro's site here has uh, information on the mutators. So sometimes I forget about certain mutators, so I'll go here for reference. And also I use uh, the wiki in case I want to look up like more information, the DPS or something of a unit. So uh, also I have my own uh, resources. So like uh, I have this, this list of the basis with missing gas and then like uh, pictures of all the of all the uh, mutators I had this because I play on the Chinese server sometimes and I don't remember the Chinese names of the mutators but I can look at the pictures when I choose the custom mutations now with mm I don't really need to do I don't really need this but uh, before I had to rely on the pictures I also have this one where uh, I will look at the attack waves so sometimes I would need to think about uh, which comp I want to face against, the optimal comp to face against, and also uh, like the transmutation tier list in case I'm playing against uh, transmutation. <laughs> uh, in addition, I also have like papers. I write down these things and I just like put them in front of my computer sometimes. Uh, here's a list of like all the mutations that I want to, uh, that the, the table is missing and I think I can beat them so I like occasionally just pick one out and try in the meantime I just pretty much uh, like every week I will go to I'll just go to the the mutation of the week and then I will see if I can beat with as many as I can and uh, as you can see here coming up next is this one I've beat all of it and then so this one all clear all clear um, yeah so I just keep going and try to clear as many as I can and uh, since I love to like collect stuff, I'm a collector. I'm gonna be probably be doing this for a while, and it's uh, challenging. And uh, I'm learning a lot about this game, even though I've been playing for so long. There's still a lot to learn. And and uh, as I as I mentioned earlier, I play on both the NA and uh, Chinese servers. And uh, since I play on the Chinese server, I the Chinese uh, client only allows you to use the Chinese UI, so sometimes I can't actually like I, I can read, but not very quickly. So I would have like names of all the prestiges and uh, the commanders in English and Chinese, all the mutators. Some people might wonder, like on Billy Billy, how do I know all the Chinese names? Well, I can just look at this list, like all the map names. This one I kind of know, 
And then also here, I forgot where I found this, but uh, I have like more information about the maps. So I'm, I'm just like armed with information about each map. So that's why I think uh, it's not too difficult to solo certain mutations since I have the information that's necessary to like plan out what I want to do. Anyways, yeah, uh, maybe I'll see you on the NA or Gen servers sometime.